Martin go for broke. Vance Walker goes fast, which is remarkable considering he was born with cerebral palsy. I'm anticipating a lot of speed for this one, Matt. Well, Vance Walker, we met him on Ninja Junior, where in two seasons he never lost a race. Well, Barnicki's persnickety. He's not going to be intimidated. Oh, my. Barnicki makes that first move, and look at him. He's linking it. Yeah, he's like back and forth. <laughs> wow. It's like cat and mouse. Barnicki. Wow. The music producer hitting all the so far, he's only five foot four and 120 pounds, but he is attacking this course. Vance Walker's not a big guy either. He's only five six, and Bartnicki is going to be the first one to complete it. We've seen it; that is huge because Epic Air Surfer has been tricky. Well, Vance Walker knows how to race, and he just made the first move. Arthur, watch that board. Vance linked it, but here comes Bartnicki. These two friends go. Who will be the first to dismount? It's Bartnicki. This would be Vance Walker's first ever loss in a race. Bartnicki's not letting Vance Walker in this oh race. Oh, Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He barely made that one. Oh, no. No. Dual falls. Wow. Bartnicki was the first to finish Epic Air Surfer. Wow. He's moving on. This crowd is stunned. Vance had pulled ahead on Epic Air Surfer, but he hesitated on the dismount, and Ethan Barnicki surged ahead. He could have taken his time, but he rushed it on the falling shells and couldn't make that final grab. Vance just needed to finish the obstacle, but he missed on the third shell. So this is my boy right here. And I'm so glad we went out the same obstacle, same way. Perfect. But all is not lost for Vance Walker. Because of his fast pace, he's got a good chance of being one of our top four non-winners who'll compete in a runoff race for the final spots on stage three.